guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we have a brand new box, Loot Crate, as per usual. It's a different shape this month, uh, which is interesting. I'm kind of thinking that there might be some kind of comic uh, in here, which is pretty cool. Um, but we'll have to wait and see as we get inside today. Uh, is the Halloween themed box, or I believe Fear is its name. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Uh, but hopefully it'll be interesting. Should be a shirt in here. Uh, and I think that's pretty much everything that I know about it. So let's have a little look. Uh, there is indeed... There is indeed a shirt, which is cool. I like the fact that they're now doing this as well. I like the fact that they are adding these really interesting kind of uh, dioramas almost, like sort of just box designs. It goes to show that Loot Crate are doing well because they, they're able to kind of like support this, which is really, really awesome. Um, so I guess what we'll do is we'll go with the shirt first, which I just noticed actually kind of like something about it. Uh, oh, actually, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a few things that I'm noticing here. Right, okay. Well, let's just pop this just to one side here. Now, this is really interesting. This is this is the shirt. Uh, now, first off, that is quite possibly the most amazing shirt I have ever seen in my life. Uh, it is a collection of cats in the shape of a skull... And I might explode with awesomeness. That is absolutely incredible! I mean, you, oh, I would not even expect that. I love the fact that they do that every single time. The shirt itself is actually... I don't know if I can show you this, um, but it's actually really, really thin. I don't know if you can see on the fabric there. Um, but it's actually quite a thin shirt. Now, not that, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's quite soft and stuff. Um, and it seems to me to be the first shirt... Actually, you can see there how, how, how thin it is, because you can actually see through it. Uh, so I'm going to have to do this for you here, um, because that's a bit weird. What is it like a... It is 100% cotton. It's just a thin cotton, I guess. That's very strange. Uh, it's actually got an official Loot Crate. So it's actually, it actually is, like, kind of um, listed. Made in Bangladesh, printed in the USA. Super 7... Uh, but it's got the, the actual Loot Crate logo on it for the first time, which I thought was really cool. But the shirt itself is definitely the one that I'm going to be wearing for Halloween. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot, I cannot get enough of that. Again, so Loot Crate, straight away with the shirt, you have, you have won me over. And I am, again, happy with my purchase of $15 or whatever it is. It's not expensive. Uh, so we've got a box here. Uh, which is actually advertised as Dead Rising 3. Might be some Dead Rising 3 content coming to my channel soon, guys. I've managed to get myself a code for the PC version, uh, and I'd quite like to mess around with that. It should hopefully be pretty fun. Uh, we've got another pen-type situation going on here. There we go. It is... Wow, it's like a... Are you guys seeing this? I'll get it out so you can actually have a proper look. It's like it's one of the the items that you that you can make in the game. It's like a sledgehammer with a angle grinder on the end, and the angle grinder part sort of moves a little bit, like ever so. Oh, it sort of comes out. Is that supposed to come out? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just gonna put that back in again if I can. That's really weird. Well, I'm sure we can find more more about it. It's on the it's on the other way around now. <laughs> but that is really cool. Look at this. All got nice, really nice paint. We be able to just do a little zoom in. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that paintwork. Oh, brilliant. And there's a sledgehammer bit on the end there. What a weird thing. Just like a dead rising sort of um, prop kind of thing. I mean, I don't know if the game's going to be any good. If you'd like to see that on the channel, let me know um, because it's definitely something that I will be interested in doing for you guys. Looks like there was something there was supposed to be something like here, but there isn't. So I'm not quite sure what that's about. But anyway, uh, yeah. So a dead rising kind of item. I'll leave that. Um, what I'll do is I will take it and sort of like put it there, so you guys get a chance to sort of look at that for a bit if you really want to. Uh, in fact, let's put it at the very front here, so it's completely in view. Because it is quite cool. It is quite a cool thing. Uh, now we've got it. We have actually got a book. There's, I mean, we've still got quite a few things to go here. 
Uh, we've got how to survive a Sharknado and other unnatural disasters. Fight back when monsters and Mother Nature attack. Andrew Schaefer, uh, which is cool. I mean, it's a proper proper book about monsters and how to... I mean, the Basilisk monster. Things about how to, how to deal with them and stuff. Don't honk your horn, it says. <laughs> That's cool. That's a nice, interesting... But I think... Do I have the How to Survive the Zombie Apocalypse? I might do. I'm not sure. But now I've got How to Survive a Sharknado, which is... One of those, another one of those things. Oh god, I've dropped my weird thing. <laughs> oh, Lucrece, so crazy. We've also got ourselves a pair of three D glasses, which uh, Kurt J. Mac would be proud to wear. I'm sure. I don't think we need to really see too much more about them. Uh, we've also got some sort of card here. It says "O oh, Brother" on it. Uh, because oh, it's The Walking Dead! <laughs> oh my god, I just realised what it was! It's actually just like in a piece of uh, cardboard to keep it rigid. But it's just like a like a, a, a picture that I'm going to have to probably frame, because that's fantastic. It is, um, of course, from The Walking Dead. It is Merle? Merle? Is it? I'm not sure. I'm sure someone will tell me who, who the two characters are. I do watch The Walking Dead, so I can't believe that I'm having a, a, a mind blink right now. But it's the, the the two of them. And uh, he did turn into a zombie, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm not going to spoil the, 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 the TV show for anybody because it is really, really good. Uh, we've also got ourselves some Slash and Bite stickers here, which are, again, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Let's just uh, almost press this button here. Uh, did that do anything for us? No. I think it actually just took a photo. Whoops, Daisy. I've lost my ability to autofocus right now, but never mind. Uh, so there you go, some sort of slashes and things on there, which is pretty interesting. I don't really care, to be honest with you. I'm really happy with how the, the, the shirt looks, so I don't really care that much. <laughs> uh, if anybody wants it, there is a code here for uh, Background of the Gods Smite, Olok Thantos, an exclusive Jack, Jack the Reaper skin. If anybody wants that, then now you've now got yourself a free thing by watching the CAFCast, which is always good. Uh, we have the book itself, which apparently is actually in, like, 3D, which is why we have the 3D glasses. So I'm just going to put the glasses on. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to do that. And now, hopefully, that's now in three dimensions. Can you guys see how three-dimensional that is? No. Exactly. Uh, so the book itself is actually completely in th in uh, three dimensions, it looks like. Or, like, the parts that it can be are. So, like, this part uh, is. And then there's just some stuff about the Mega Cray here, as usual. The shirts. So this is it. So Death by Kitten shirt by Super 7. Uh, and it's just a bit about it, which is cool. Bonus item is the Toxic Candy Waste, which we have got. And uh, just some other things. I won't go through that too much. There's one of these toxic waste candy things. Hazardous sour candy. Uh, it's watermelon flavor, which is uh, disgusting. I'll move the camera there. Excuse me. The badge for this week is the fear badge, which is cool. Have a little zoom in there and have a little look at that. Very cool badge. And apart from that, there's one more thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then the, the rest of the box there, in case anybody did want to have a little look. It's like a sort of a zombie garage with loads of zombies at the front there. <laughs> Which we can just sort of pop up there. And uh, yeah, this is this is what we've got. Is uh, The Walking Dead comic book issue 132 with a special loot crate kind of covering apparently. Which uh, which is pretty cool. I've now, I now own two comic books. Thanks very much to um, Loot Crate because I didn't have any before. And now I have two. So there we go. There's a nice, uh, nice Walking Dead comic that you get as well. So let's just pan out a little bit, just so you guys get a chance to see. I'll move the, cat, the microphone close to me as well. So you get all that for a total of like fifteen dollars or whatever it is. I can't remember. Um, but that shirt makes it for me. This is quite cool. I, it seems to be that. I mean, that turns, and then that kind of like pops out. But it does look like it does look like that's supposed to happen. Um, but it's very weird. It's a very strange little thing to give um, to uh, to looters. 
but uh, but you know, whatever. It is cool. It is, it is a cool thing. So you get that, and you get the uh, the book, the comic, the. I mean, that that is that's a lot of cool stuff. Not necessarily. I wouldn't buy everything here. Probably wouldn't buy the Sharknado thing. Don't really care too much about that cult classic. But I love the Walking Dead. Love the fact I got a Walking Dead comic. Absolutely love the shirt. I think that is an incredible shirt. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with with how that's gone. That seems to be a pretty good kind of haul. And and Dead Rising stuff. I mean, you know, it's it's all right. I've got a Dead Rising zombie that I can uh, I can give that to, and he can carry that, and that could be quite cool. So I think he's from the first game. Uh, it was like a special edition, but whatever. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. That is the entirety of the loot crate for October 2014. Fear. Don't forget that you can use the link in the description if you do that and get yourself a subscription with Loot Crate. It helps me out uh, and it helps you out because it gets you a little discount by typing the code in that comes up and it gets me a little discount by referring you. So it's it's good for both of us, basically, which is really, really cool. So until next time, I've been Kat for the CAFCast. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all on the next Loot Crate. Take care. Goodbye. You've been watching the CAFCast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the CAFCast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.